Okay. Okay, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back again with George Shuley, the counselor, Mr. James Hoyt. Welcome back to another lesson, another blessing. We're going to be doing a little class exercise today, something I put together, another one of my signs. Before I get started, I would like to invite you again and welcome you to my class, Domestic Violence with the Counselor, Mr. James Hoyt. You can see it on our postings here. Um, I also would like to uh, invite you in to subscribe to my channel. Uh, again, it's Domestic Violence with the Council, Mr. James Horton, H-O-R-T-O-N. And uh, I would like you to uh, subscribe. And uh, if you are interested, we're going to be having a reality show, uh, you know, just from your town business, uh, favorite guy, your counselor and everything. I'm going around taking this thing, you know, uh, to the streets and wherever I go, and I just want to invite you all to take this ride with me. Uh, we're going to be uh, on television. We're going to be having our own reality show dealing with many of the topics that you all have been viewing, right? But this time you get a chance also to get you a little change too in your pocket and, and broaden your life to a level where who knows where it can go from there, all right? So um, this paper here is going to be called what are four known and unknown institutions, right? You know, we've all heard the word institution, but what is an institution, right? I'm gonna to try to define, there are many institutions that uh, our country has and our towns and states, and you know, they have these institutions. Some of them, some say are needed, and uh, some of them are meant to uh, bend or break, uh, many of us. Uh, when we get ourselves in there. Some of us even play into these institutions for a benefit. And overall, one would say that each one of the institutions may be beneficial to someone or a many of someone, all right? Okay, it says four, what are four known and unknown institutions? All right, it says, number one, uh, financial. They have financial institutions, mental institutions, correctional institu institutions, educational institutions, and uh, social. And the fifth one, you know, even though I didn't say uh, four, but I said five, but I, the unknown is the fifth. It's the social, right? We're going to define that, all right? It says financial institutions. It says the definition of financial institutions is financial institutions are known as banks that provide investments, withdrawals, and depository services to customers. That's what uh, financial institutions are. And next one is mental institutions. Uh, the definition of a mental institution is mental institutions are known, <coughs> excuse me, as hospitals, treatment facilities, behavioral modification programs for people with mental or emotional problems, people who are dual diagnosed, who deal with mental problems as well as substance abuse problems, right? They got two, and that's why they call it dual, you know? And uh, one would say that, and many would say, and educators would say that, you know, you, you definitely want to stop using, but you also want to get to dealing with the mental, right? And then start working on the other one a little bit, a little slower. You know, but you definitely need to stop, you know, get isolated from the drugs and, and the poisons that one puts in the body. Uh, number three, it says correctional institutions. Some of us know about that, including your counselor. Uh, spent many years back and forth in uh, jail facilities, a uh, short time in prison, but I went there too, you know, but just over and over. So, uh, uh, you know, it was like, you know, why do I get keep getting arrested? And one would say that, you know, like uh, a Donald Trump or a Hilton Hotel, uh, they don't build hotels with all those rooms without having occupancy, without having people to be in those rooms. So when they build prisons, they build them for some reason. We're gonna go further in that a little later. All right, it says, uh, correctional, uh, 
institutions are types of correctional facilities. He said there are uh, several types of correctional facilities or correctional institutions, and, and that include jails, prisons, and juvenile detention centers. Each country has its own approach to the criminal justice system and uses correctional facilities, correctional uh, prisons, institutions differently, right? They all use them differently, but they use them for a certain reason. Um, some would say they uh, uh, there's a big business in, in the prison system, big business, especially uh, after slavery, uh, which was uh, free labor, you know, free labor for hundreds of years, free labor. And now uh, from then is when the, the prison system really took off because the laws had changed and, you know, the amendments and everything had changed. And now we need to find out how do we get these uh, 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 whole race of people uh, to work for free without violating the law, all right? So you can work on digging into that to find out uh, where I may be coming from. All right, next one is, the fourth one is called, fourth one is called educational institutions. Really? You mean education can even be a profitable business? You know, you mean to tell me that um, majority of the people that go uh, into college and get this degree, that degree, on up to master's and doctorate degrees are in debt when they finished all those degrees. Wow, you mean, to tell, I mean, I thought if I got the job, I would be rich, but you have to pay your debts off before you really take off into where you wanna be, all right? Educational institutions. It says definition of educational institutions are qualified educational institutions without limitations. There are accredited public or private middle schools and high schools, junior high schools, universities, and technical school home, schools, home schools, programs that belong to nationally recognized homeschooling bodies, right? Uh, they have to be titled in a certain kind of way, right? Because, you know, when you get into the group, of those that allow you to run these kind of facilities, you will have to pay. It's going to be a pay for everybody. You know, each child that goes to these particular schools, each young person, each adult that goes to these different uh, institutions, uh, they will be large fees. And some would say uh, get a better education. I don't know. I haven't been all the way there yet. I've been there a little bit, but not all the way there. All right, so it says, uh, the fifth institution that may be known, but to most uh, isn't known, it's not always known, it's described and defined, uh, it defines our social institutions. Social institutions, social institutions are known as cliques, clubs, gangs and mobs, hoods, uh, hoods are, also social institutions that are once that were once neighborhoods before they got rid of all the social love abiding neighbors right they were once neighborhood before they got rid of the neighbors right this is it's a two-part word like a uh, neighborhood neighborhood now if you take the neighbors out what do you have a hood right and so i mean i'm talking about those decent uh uh uh, 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 Miss Johnson and and and, and Miss Deborah now and and and, and uh, uh, Miss Carol and, and all those people they used to be like you know just have some good advice and say come here son come here young lady pull that dress down and uh, you know uh, uh, sh boy pull them pants up them people them people was like come on over here you hungry right didn't mind then you come on in the house and get some cornbread. Uh, just giving you the advice and stuff like that. Now, many of the neighborhoods are limited to hoods, right? Just a hood, man, and and it ain't the same, you know. And uh, so, so we just, I just wanted to uh, give some briefing on that, on the word uh, institution, right? Because I'm definitely knowing that this thing we need here, man, is uh, more education. We all need to 
start reading and start listening and start learning. And if you haven't been reading, I'm gonna try to read some stuff for you and, and, and nothing else spit it to you where you can kind of like, you know, get somebody, get that uh, uh, parent parental guidance or something, even on this new thing they call the internet. You know, this kind of thing and this thing they got uh, Facebook and this, uh, all all these websites, right? That many times that we, that's what we're doing. We're looking at our phones or something, trying to give it to you all, that's all, you know? So it says, what do you believe financial institutions, mental institutions, correctional institutions, educational institutions, and social institutions all have in common? Like, what do you believe they all have in common? You know, uh, uh, you know, like, what do you believe they all got in common? You know, I believe they all all have three controlling factors, uh, you know, which are money, power, and control. That's what I believe. They all got money, power, and control. You don't want nobody controlling your livelihood, your wealth, your uh, uh, the little change you got in your pocket. You don't want nobody controlling your freedom, right? Your choices, right? And, and uh, you don't want nobody controlling you, period, right? You know, you don't want nobody controlling you, period. So watch out for the institutions, right? Watch out which institution you chose to be a part of. The social, uh, 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 the, uh, the mental, the educational, uh, uh, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and the correctional, you know, they ain't really cool. You know, it's really ain't cool. You got to find yourself and institute yourself, you know, as you so you can go forward. Okay, that's going to be it for yours truly, the counselor, Mr. James Sawyer. Thank you for attending my group.